Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right. In tribute to the creator of Little Miss Books and Mr. Men Books by Roger Hargreaves, we have a series of 24 stories in 24 hours to make sure that wherever in the world you are, whatever time you go to bed, you have a Mr. Men book to listen to tonight. Book 3 of 24, Mr. Happy by Roger Hargreaves. Once upon a time, on the other side of the world, where the sun shines hotter than here, and where the trees are a hundred feet tall, there is a country called Happy Land. As you might very well expect, everybody who lives in Happy Land is as happy as the day is long. Wherever you go, you see smiling faces all around. It's such a happy place that even the flowers seem to smile in Happy Land. And, as well as all the people being happy, all the animals in Happy Land are happy as well. If you've never seen a mouse smile, or a cat, or a dog, or even a worm, go to Happy Land. This is a story about someone who lived there, who happened to to be called Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy was fat and round and happy. He lived in a small cottage beside a lake at the foot of a mountain and close to a wood in Happy Land. One day, while Mr. Happy was out walking through the tall trees in those woods near his home, he came across something which was really rather extraordinary. There, in the trunk of one of the very tall trees, was a door. Not a very large door, but nevertheless a door. Certainly a door, a small, narrow, yellow door. Definitely a door. Hmm, I wonder who lives there, thought Mr. Happy to himself, and he turned the handle of that small, narrow, yellow door. The door wasn't locked, and it swung open quite easily. Just inside the small, narrow, yellow door was a small, narrow, winding staircase leading downwards. Mr. Happy squeezed his rather large body through the rather thin doorway and began to walk down the stairs. The stairs went around and around, and down and down, and around and down and down and around. Eventually, after a long time, Mr. Happy reached the bottom of the staircase. He looked around and saw, there in front of him, another small narrow door. But this one was red. Mr. Happy knocked at the door. Who's there? said a voice, a sad and squeaky sort of voice. Who's there? Mr. Happy pushed open the red door slowly and there, sitting on a stool, was somebody who looked exactly like Mr. Happy, except that he didn't look happy at all. In fact, he looked downright miserable. Hello? said Mr. Happy. I'm Mr. Happy. Oh, are you indeed? sniffed the person, who looked like Mr. Happy, but wasn't. Well, my name is Mr. Miserable, and I'm the most miserable person in the world. Why are you so miserable? asked Mr. Happy. Because I am, replied Mr. Miserable. How would you like to be happy like me? asked Mr. Happy. I'd give anything to be happy, said Mr. Miserable, but I'm so miserable, I don't think I could ever be happy, he he added miserably. 
Mr. Happy made up his mind quickly. Follow me, he said. Where to? asked Mr. Miserable. Oh, don't argue, said Mr. Happy. And he went out through the small, narrow, red door. Mr. Miserable hesitated, and then he followed. Up and up the winding staircase he went. Up and up and around and around, and up and round and round and up, until they came out into the wood. Follow me, said Mr. Happy again, and they both set off through the wood back to Mr. Happy's cottage. Mr. Miserable stayed in Mr. Happy's cottage for quite some time, and during that time, the most remarkable thing happened. Because he was living in Happy Land, Mr. Miserable ever so slowly stopped being miserable and started to be happy. His mouth stopped turning down at the corners, and ever so slowly it started turning up at the corners. And eventually, Mr. Miserable did something that he'd never done in his whole life. He smiled. Then he chuckled, which turned into a giggle, which became a laugh. A big, booming, hearty, huge, giant, large, enormous laugh. And Mr. Happy was so surprised that he started to laugh as well. And both of them laughed and laughed. They laughed until their sides hurt and their eyes watered. Mr. Miserable and Mr. Happy laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. They went outside and still they laughed. And because they were laughing so much, everybody who saw them started laughing as well. Even the birds in the trees started to laugh at the thought of somebody called Mr. Miserable who just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> and that's really the end of the story, except to say that if you ever feel as miserable as Mr. Miserable used to, you know exactly what to do, don't you? Just turn your mouth up at the corners and smile. Go on. The End of Mr. Happy by Roger Hargreaves Here on the Lights Out Podcast Bedtime Stories for Boys and Girls and and happy people around the world. Good night, sweet dreams.